What is going on YouTube? I am Tensa and we are back for another video. That is right, we are doing 15 Dollar Tree packs. And you guys know what we're gonna do this time. One, two, three, four, five for the right pile. One, two, three, four, five for the middle pile. And four, five for the right left pile. We have five piles. We're gonna see which one is gonna be the winner. Take your guesses right now. I am um, just gonna be here waiting for you guys to type in your guesses and go ahead. Okay, you guys made your guesses? Cool, good, because I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> we are doing the middle pile first for this video. Let's just get straight into it. Let's see, ooh, Charmander, very nice. Remember, in this, we're doing these openings to find the Charizard, you guys. So we have a Porygon, which is a common, and a weakness policy, that is uncommon. That's one point, if you guys remember how how many points we, we've assigned to every single kind of rarity. We have a Pansage. Beware, that is a rare, that's two points, and an uncommon escape rope, all right. Middle pile's looking strong. Oh, shoot. All right, middle pile's looking strong. I hope you guys guessed that pile. If not, good luck. Um, Ralts. Oh, can we give points for just pulling a Ralts? Man. Maybe. Maybe in the future videos. Maybe I, I, I want to make that a thing. Because Ralts is uncommon dust clops. That's pretty cool. I want to make that a thing. Dust or Ralts is... Ah. Ralts is good. Ralts is very nice. Cutie Fly, that is a common. We have a rare Electros and a uncommon Potown. The middle pack is making, it's setting the bar, you guys. That is insane. Pikachu for a common. Then we have a Pampor, common. And a Porygon 2 for the uncommon. That leaves us with a total of 1, 2, uh, 4, 5, uh, six, eight, and nine points for the middle pile. Nine points. Man, that's gonna be hard to beat. Okay, so I'm gonna get into straight to, oh, I'm gonna get straight into the right pile itself, and let's see if we can beat that. I mean, beating that is, okay, we have a rare and an uncommon. We're already starting with three points. That's actually pretty strong start. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this pack. Sneasel, and I know we haven't pulled anything pretty good from this. We have a uncommon right there. No, that is a rare. All right, so we have five points already, and we'll have three more packs. If we could hit two more rares, we've tied it up with the right pile. Sock is the uncommon, uncommon, and or common, common, uncommon. I keep messing that up. I'm sorry, you guys. I am sorry. We are gonna get into the fourth pack so we have uncommon common common uncommon again keep messing that up i'm going to tally up the points at the end of this opening just to see what we have Ooh, i threw the cards over there let's not throw the cards over there okay so we have a common common routes and i, I want to make that a thing all right and an uncommon metapod so that leaves us with one two three that is five that is seven and that's eight points so so okay right piles losing to the middle pile now we have to do the left pile so let's get straight into that we have a mud bray as a uncommon toxic croak for a rare that is two points already okay not not the strongest start but it can pull through oddish for common we have a Duskull dabbing for a common and a energy for nothing. I don't think, I think the middle pile won this video, you guys. If you guys comment down below the middle pile, good job, you guys won. Survivor for the rare, or for the uncommon. We have two more packs, each one's a Marsh Shadow. I mean, if we pull a holographic, I feel like that, that pack or that pile should win instantly we have a rare for the persian in a rotom deck for an uncommon that's not bad and we have the cloth merrill again 
for the common and then we have a pan sage for a common and a leaf energy middle pile has one at you guys comment down below if you chose middle pile well i guess you would have already commented down below yeah comment down below if you chose middle pile let me know what you guys think about this kind of setup we're just trying to burn through some dollar tree booster packs and making some content along the way so i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed this take care bye I, you guys, you know I keep forgetting, but I tend to give a code card at the end of these videos so you guys can, you know, enjoy it. And you know, I actually might do it in the middle. You guys don't know, just so you know, everyone has a fair chance of getting to that code card first. Alright, see you guys. Bye.